Hey everyone, welcome back to more Necromunda Under High of Wars. I'm Disturbing Puppet. This is my Escher gang, the Mad Jackals. We're continuing the current operation here. We're going to take out this group, I think. Uh, so we have my older leader, Jackie. We have Corey, who's just an engine of destruction. Kira here is kind of helping out, doing some uh, work on the bolter we've got, the Laz Cannon, possibly also our auto gun here to kind of keep them running without jamming. Uh, Morag here, our bolter specialist doing tons and tons of damage especially on crits and then we've got big sue here on the last cannon which also is pretty crit focused so as far as our options for this next one we did just fight off somebody attacking our base so we uh, don't have to worry about our base being attacked for a little while we could attack somebody else's base if there's no good missions but we do have some missions up here it's like we're about halfway a little over halfway through the resources that are out there we're sitting on 460 out of it we might raid somebody's base at some point. Not sure when. We'll see what we've got here. All right, we've got weapon prototypes up here, and we have Grog down here. Either way, it's 90 resources up for grabs. Hangar roof. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've seen all of them at this point. Palantine Commissary. I think I know what that one is. Let's go with this one, I think. We'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully, we'll get an even split, but you never know like to just face off against one gang that would be nice probably won't happen uh okay what happened there <laughs> all right so they got a free run at that which means it's going to be a three-way fight up here nobody's attacking anyone else's bases uh, i mean it's reasonable unfortunately the uh maximum effort guys got a free run and grabbed all the resources there Could be worse. It could be like a four-way fight instead of a three-way fight. So I guess I should be happy. But it was kind of a nice change last time to just have a one-on-one -on -one fight. Somebody raiding my base. Me just wrecking them really quick. That was kind of nice. And we could do that again. I, I we'll wait to attack somebody's base if like there's no good missions. Um, sometimes there are missions that are close combat focused only there's a particular like pit brawl kind of thing i think is what it's called uh, but usually you have that and something else decent so it just sort of depends all right yeah i'm pretty sure i've seen all the maps at this point so weapon prototypes salvage cask it's always worth a lot you should try to grab that random loot not a big deal Two extraction zones, opposite ends of the map, so we can't really camp them that well. And we're going to deploy last, unfortunately. Alright. So they're going for those two. This is the one I would like if it was fast enough to grab, because it's a bit of high. Uh, I mean, the salvage casket is here. So how about we deploy here? That makes some kind of sense to me. don't think we'll split anybody up. I mean, we potentially could. I just feel like it's really dangerous. There's not much point. There's no real advantage. I mean, maybe if you want to just grab a couple things with somebody and leave, you could try to do something like that, but it's not something easily done. Right. And Corey's the last to deploy. That's fine. All right, we don't have the height. Uh, I think we'll probably try to go for just setting up our heavy, getting our auras set and everything. So first things first, of course, we want to get our auras up. So Shifty Ruse gives everyone who starts in it some extra action points. Having the aura up also gives my heavy some defensive bonuses. We're also going to do tune-up on our gun, which increases crit chance for the battle. Then if I want to overwatch, we're going to have to trade some movement for action points. We'll just move in wherever I can, try to grab some kind of cover, and then overwatch. Um, from this point, I mean, we could try to camp out the salvage casket. There is a ways up and down to the top. But the other gang is sort of in the way. So the Vansars are definitely 
an issue over there. Okay, that's as far as I can get if I want to do that. I think we want to stay here or maybe even go up higher. There's no real point in me doing anything else. There's no great cover here. I could just take this. If it'll let me stay here, we could do that. Let's just do that. For now, we'll do that. Oh, it's not going to let me stay here. Crap! Well, it's going to move me somewhere. I'm just too close to the uh, zip line. So, yeah, it's going to put me right in the middle. That's great. All right, wonderful. I might not even be able to get by her now with her standing in the way. We'll see. This guy doesn't even have any weapons. What the heck? Otius. Heavy, just with a couple pistols. That's mainly because we've been taking stuff away from people. Yeah, take out those uh, mines. That's actually the only way you can take out the mines. There's no defusing them or anything. Well, we walked into that. No crit, though. Just a regular hit. Okay. Pistol overwatch is pretty short range. Right. Well, no more overwatches. I mean, we could grapple up top with both Morag and with Jackie. That's honestly kind of tempting, but... Um... Let's go with Kira, just to do some support stuff and buy some time to see where the enemies go. It's a heavy with a pistol and a sword. Okay. They must not be doing very well. And you're ambushing, so unless you have a bunch of close combat skills, which you shouldn't because you're heavy, I'm not really sure what you're doing, but alright. Okay, so what we want to do here... I'm going to go ahead... We're going to Anointed Armaments. Big Sue. So she's got a little while where her gun is not going to build up any heat. It's basically through her next turn. She'll be totally fine. I could do that on myself as well. It's for jamming or for heat. So we could go ahead and do that. So I've got this turn and next turn. If I shoot, uh, won't be a big deal. I think it's this turn and next turn. It might only be next turn. Could get your gun cleared as well. Yeah, sure. I don't have any targets to shoot at or anything. Now, I can repair zip lines as well with her if I wanted to. And we do have a zip line up to the top. I feel like that's a little dangerous unless we're going to just go for it right away. I think the one that's across to the other extraction point is more interesting. So most of the stuff that's here to collect is inside of a barricade. Okay. How much is it for me to overwatch? 15? Yeah. We'll trade some movement for action points. How much would it take to repair this? Only nine? Yeah, sure, we could do that. Just have that good to go. There's no cover here at all, unfortunately. We might want to head up top sooner or later. So I may not want to run off, really, with Kira. Fortunately, like I said, we can't use that as cover. Uh, I can get around, just barely. Unfortunately, this weapon is pretty short range. 
So if I want somewhere safe, we could just drop down, maybe. For the moment. See if I can get into any cover and then drop my overwatch. Nope, I'm just stuck on the elevator. Alright, fine, whatever. Uh, what I'll do then is try to use this control panel as cover a little bit. And we'll just ride the elevator up and down if anybody wants to use it. Duel! These guys up top. Let's see if they start going down for the resources or if they just hang out on the roof. If they go down, then we might want to grab the roof. Ambushing, but that's not a great angle. We could probably get up there and shoot that guy without a problem. Hmm. I kind of like to push them up top. I feel like that's a very, very aggressive move, but it's uh, very tempting. have Morag go. She's a bit slow. Everyone else can act, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, Jared, okay, this guy's really dangerous. He's a leader and close combat specialist with a two-handed weapon, which means he's going to do just truck tons of damage if he hits people. All right, he is heading up top. Good. Go mess with them up top, please. Nope, that's not the right way. Jolt Seed will improve his initiative, so we'll go faster next round. And he's just going to stand there like a moron. All right. Shaker leader on the other gang. Is that plasma pistol and dual plasma pistol looks like. Okay, walked into a few shots, nothing too major. Preparation will help you in close combat. It's active for the rest of the fight, so it doesn't really matter when you get it off. Little pistol overwatch, sure. Okay. I mean... Hmm. I'm tempted. I would have to move up, but I think we could grapple up top. The Jared guy is not fighting. Like, he's not ambushing, he's not uh, overwatched or anything like that. I can always jump away, so we can just kind of shoot from our position, take a pot shot, we'll just see what we can do. So what are our choices here? 20% crit chance. We can double tap, which gives me an aimed chance, and then if I crit, we get some action points back. That's really about it. Uh, I'm going to entrench and get some extra action points, because mostly I'd use action points to kind of jump away or anything. Um, does that give me any more options? Yeah, so we've got our trick shot, which lets me shoot twice. It does improve the graze chance. Not as much of a concern as you are. Regular's 30. Go for this, maybe get some back, or shoot him twice with a 20% crit. Because of the high graze, I think I might just do the double tap. Alright. See if there's anywhere where you don't have good protection against this kind of weapon. It's pretty good. We go for a headshot. There's a chance we miss, though. I don't know why apparently we can't see his left arm. Uh, yeah, go for a head. I have no idea how we missed that, but uh, okay. Click it, like shot and hit over there somewhere. Fine. Okay. Uh, I'll take our. Uh, well, that's only gonna leave me two. I'll be able to jump away then if I do that. You know what? 
I'm just going to bail. We can always come back up, take a pot shot, run away. Be nice to get an Overwatch off. We're not going to get that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and field scan. That will give me some defensive protection as well. Can't move a lot, but we'll just try to grab cover wherever. So that requires jumping down, apparently. Which I don't have the action points to do. So I guess we'll come back over here. Just sort of hunker down. Very disappointed in that missed shot there, Morag. Can always try the same with Jackie. Jackie's off the quick. Same spot. Go for the same guy. I mean, I'd kind of like to encourage them to fight each other, but... Got, like, no movement left here. I can light you up three times, so I think that's what we do. Okay, good chunk of damage. I don't have enough to jump away, do I? I actually have cheaper jumps after shooting, but it's still too much. Kind of stuck. So that's a bit of an issue. Uh, I guess I'll just get away from the lip as well as I can. So Jackie's in a bit of danger, but she's awfully quick. But the uh, leader up there did take some Jolt Seed. So he'll have higher initiative next round. If I want to go before him, just maybe take him out. down my way. Alright. Corey, I think we'll just try to kill that guy who's down below next to Morag. It'll be kind of the plan. Doc here... Do you even... Yeah, he doesn't even have any weapons, it looks like. Got quite a few of this gang that just don't have weapons. It's kind of bizarre. Might be confused because he doesn't have any weapons. He doesn't know what to do. He is a close combat guy, but yeah, he needs a close combat weapon to really do anything. Okay, he's got to pump his buddy full of roids, which just helps you in close combat. Okay, they're just kind of loitering around that corner. Lisa's. I don't know if I've seen her before. It's like a rivet gun, maybe? Yeah, go fight each other. Okay, she decided not to hit him. Backing off. What are you doing? Going right on up there. Walked into an ambush. Ooh, nice crit. Okay. So I think. We haven't repaired the zipline for me to go up to assist up top, so I think we just gun down this idiot down here, Kanan. I think that's the plan. It's already 
Got a nice crit there. So we go reload. Reload gives me cheap attacks. I'll just focus on the gun here. Just keep doing reload, shoot, reload, shoot. Trade in some movement for action points here. Crit is almost down. Uh, what's your health at? Thirty-seven. I don't know if my skull. Like it could do enough. Let's send the skull. See if it does enough. If not, we'll just reload to shoot him. Okay. Good. Good deal. Get the reload, so we're set for next round. We'll still have the cheap attacks. Uh, nothing I can really do, so I will just sort of hang out back here. Okay, I'm a little concerned. Uh, so this guy... 168 initiative. I have nobody fast enough. I'm going to try to go with Jackie first. Hopefully she doesn't die. All right. Didn't even go for this person first. That's kind of nuts. Now, I could shoot him a bunch, but I don't even have enough bullets to get off the number of shots I would need. I don't know that I would need that many hits on him. So we could go ahead and reload. And I don't have enough now. But I could entrench again. I don't think I need to do that, though. I think one shot... Well, his greatest chance is really high. He probably has a defensive buff that's up at the moment. So, you know what? Let's entrench. It's more action points for less movement. If I can get in a position where I can shoot multiple targets, we'll do that. This guy's really high greatest chance. I'm going to pump double shots into you... One into you. Okay, so we got this guy down, just barely, I think, and then wrecked Odious pretty well. Reload helps clear some of the build up towards jam. I think I just want to leave. should be able to jump down somewhere here. Got the action points. I don't know why I can't jump. It's usually only five for a jump and a shot, so I think jumping's cheaper. So I'm not sure why I can't jump back down. What's that? Search. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Like, my jump should be quite cheap at this point. Jump and grapple are reduced in cost after I take a shot. I don't think I have an injury that makes the jumps cost more action points. I'm just kind of confused about why it's not popping up. Sometimes there's weird bugs like that that pop up. Uh, I mean, it could be a bug. It could be that um, I've got an injury that's increasing the cost of a jump. I think... Yeah, I'm just going to take a knee here. I'm relatively safe at the moment. Alright, Shaker. The Overwatch is kind of short range. Should have just shot Odious. Odious. Do I just lit up? Iron Will get some health back. Um, also means that he's going to take way less damage until the start of his next turn. Preparation helps him in close combat. He's going to get shot here. Yeah. 
That's partially the iron will, increased evasion, and more chance like shots will be deflected off your armor, that kind of thing. Alright then. I mean, if I want to go up top... We get Kira to fix the zip line, then we go. But I could still send Morag anyway, although Morag did get shot a little bit. Not not much, just a little tiny bit of damage. She could always just grapple up there and be fine. We could just grapple up and maybe drop an Overwatch. She's also slow, that'll give the other gangers a chance to do some things. Let's do that. Let's see what they do. So they might drop into that central area just because that's where most of the resources are. So they might start picking stuff up. It's hard to tell. I mean, these guys with no weapons are just kind of hanging out. Mar or Marie. Or Mare. Okay, she's going down where the resources are. Tune-up's gonna increase that crit chance. Should at least drop an overwatch. Nope, going for an ambush. He does have a sword, so eh, maybe the sword's better. Okay, you're on the other side of an obstacle from me, so we're totally fine to move around here. So yeah, if we want to go back up top... Try to put me in weird spots. Yeah, we're at kind of a weird angle. I just need to move further out, and we can head up top, I think. Uh, while I'm here... Well, it does cost her action points to search. She's got a bad knee, so kneeling down causes some problems for her. You, know, you got to take these things into account. Come on, we can get up top, right? We're going to cycle through everything. Come on, there's got to be one, like, up there somewhere, right? What if that whole section is bugged? It's very weird. Like, we can't grapple up there either, it seems like. Okay, let's try from, like, out here. Definitely should give me access somewhere. I don't see anything, though. That's very bizarre. Yeah, it's like not cycling through. It's like there's not anything up there to grapple to, which is weird. Huh. There is the zip line. So that zip line there will get me up. Is there really nobody over there? Yeah, there's nobody over here. Okay. So that's pretty clear. Not heavy there, Odious. We don't really want to shoot at him. You've only got pistols. But their leader's kind of exposed. If I move over, I want to light up Shaker. He is kneeling down. Yeah, we don't have a great angle on him. All right. Is it cheaper for me, action point wise? 10 for the zip line, 15 to grapple. Okay. So we'll head up here. Kind of like to head up top. But we can also pick on Shaker a bit. I think this is just kind of in the way, so let's just move over here a second. Alright, 20% crit chance. Alright, you know what, let's light him up a couple times. Ooh, nice. Good damage on the first shot, crit on the second, and he's done. Take the action points.
grapple shot. I don't have enough for an overwatch. That's too bad. We'll just reload. Keep my gun kind of good to go. I think we'll just kind of duck back into cover here. And good field scan again. That's still end of turn. Yeah, I'll give her a little bit of bonus defense and offense. Do that rather than kneeling. All right, at this point, Kira's going to come in. We're going to fix that zip line. So yeah, we fixed this zip line ahead up top. It's this one, right? Yeah, get that one working. Then I think I might even just go grab the salvage casket with her. Because I'm primarily using her ranged weapon, and we'll just be stowing the axe to do that. We just have it for sure that way. I definitely don't have to. But why not? Okay, let's go grab that salvage casket if I can reach it. Walked into a mine on the way, but what you gonna do? Fifteen to Overwatch. Four to kneel. See, so yeah, we could kneel someplace in Overwatch. Go about here-ish. Just kind of get out of view. All right, Lisa, what you gonna do? Drink some booze, sure. Start smacking on somebody. Not super successful, but all right. Duel's gonna wreck you probably in response. Disengaging, should just be attacking again and then killing her. But whatever. I'm gonna come back and smack her. Alright, sure, whatever. Alright, at least this is down. Okay. Now we could blow up a barricade down below pretty easily with Big Sue. Do I have anybody else to shoot at? Not really. We could go up top, but even there, I'm not going to have vision of anything, really. All right, let's go with Big Sue. Duck. Above. I guess it did hit somebody. Alright, yeah, I hit that guy. Yeah, he's got no weapons, he's just gonna beat him to death with his fists. Doc has some minor anger management problems. Yeah, we could just pick off Doc. That's actually pretty tempting. Um, I think we might blow the barricade if I have a chance. Yeah, we've got a cheap attack. Thirteen for Doc. Let's blow the barricade. Just makes it easier for us to get down there if we want to. Let's go for Doc a little bit. Not a crit, but okay damage. 
Odius still has the protection up from his... Um... Oh, I guess it's going to cost us too much to attack anybody else. So he must have something that increases the cost of attacks against him. So you can kind of see before it was a little bit more. So yeah, it's 24. We only have 22. So yeah, I mean, we can shoot Odious, but you can see the critical chance. Well, actually, his graze is down. So maybe because he was stunned, he doesn't have that protection anymore. All right, let's see if we can drop him. Not enough. Very close, though. Let's get some more action points. Like I'm beating on the Vansar a little bit too much. So we can finish you off. That's really about it. All right, sure. Down you go. Again, I've got nowhere I can kind of hang out safely. Let's just go over here. So we got no heat build up from all those shots. Just gonna end my turn. So that was thanks to Kira there. Go with Corey. Alright, Breaker. Another heavy, just running pistols. I think they just kind of go down into the area where all the resources are. Start grabbing stuff at this point. Okay, she's taking shots at Mare. Mary or Mar or whatever down there. She could jump down, but yeah, you do have a, a bit of an advantage being higher depending on your skills. Okay, well, I mean, we've got those two kind of hanging out. I think, like, we could move up. Just have to move up a bit more. And we can just start lighting you guys up. So right now we can only hit Breaker. Fifty-eight percent. Yeah, we'll just go for the ninety-sevens, I think. I send the servo skull. It's the same two targets, so yeah, we'll just reload and shoot. We're gonna do way more d damage with the gun that way. Sure, we shoot the right target. No crits, just kind of bouncing off armor here. Good damage there. Don't have enough for another attack, so that's all I can really do is find a spot, grab some cover. Good amount of damage. Unfortunately, not dropping somebody. Uh, we'll just take this as a spot, I think. Okay, I'm actually going to go with Big Sue. We've got two targets there out in the open. Just have to move over a little bit. Over there. Take out. I don't know why the chance to hit's quite low on Doc. It could be because she's in the way. I'm not sure. I'll see if I can drop her. Okay, breaker's down. Let's see if the chance to hit increases now. Yep. Basic shot or increased crit chance. Let's go increase crit chance. Ooh, nice crit. Not enough damage to kill him. The entrench. Can I get another shot off? Not at him, no. Can't overwatch either. That's too bad. All right, I'm just going to field repair. We'll clear the heat build up on my gun. And we'll just take a knee somewhere. Doesn't matter too much. Let's just kind of move in closer to the rest of my gang that are over here. Try to get people inside the aura. All right. Got a pretty good angle there, actually, to pick people off. He 
these guys with just fists. It's kind of nuts. I think the refractor field is what makes it harder to shoot somebody. It just costs more action points, something like that. All right, what are you going to do? I did blow up the barricade, so you can kind of freely run away. So she might be headed for the extraction with nothing. She's just bailing, like, screw this, I'm out of here. Um, are all the Vansars down? Or does she just abandon her friends? Um, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, all the Vansars are down. So she was the last Vansar. I didn't realize that she was the last one. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's pretty reasonable. Although I think she could have grabbed something on the way out and bailed. Like, that would have made sense to me. All right. Uh, you're not overwatching. We've got a lot more shots we can do here. Let's go with Morag. Oh, it's not nice. Healing up his buddy. That's too bad. Well, I mean, Morag's going to peek around that corner and just shoot whoever we can shoot. So, I mean, I think we just shoot you twice. You can only really shoot the guy in front. All right, light him up. Good damage, but no crit. Wasn't enough to drop him. The action points, if I can get off another round. So it's 30 to shoot. Yeah, there's no way I can reload. Well, yeah, I can reload first. All right, let's do that. That'll get my gun a little bit further away from jamming. And we can get the shot off and take you out. Right in the face. All right, good job. Killing spree triggers. She's got some passive from that. Nothing I can do, so we're just gonna come back and hide behind the pillar again. Take Kira, I guess. We'll head on up, maybe try to help out uh, as far as weapons go. Now, I made a joke about Doc having an anger management problem. Okay, I thought he was going to charge toward the entire my entire gang over there. He might just be trying to charge to Jackie and start beating her up. Yep, that's what he's doing. Very nice. Okay. So my plan, I think. So, I'm not sure if I even can get up. Like, we should be able to climb up that. We can take the elevator up. Um, Try to get some work done on the Laz Cannon and the Bolter, maybe. All right. So what I'm going to do... Go anointed armaments on the last cannon. Corey's gun is fine. We could go anointed armaments on that, but she reloads so often it's usually not an issue. The bolter is more of a problem. So we're going to anointed armaments on Morag, the bolter. A 
field repair it. So it's good to go for her for next round. And then I have basically nothing I can do. Except take a knee. She does have an advantage. The bulwark just popped up there, so when she's kneeling, she does take less damage. Normally kneeling just makes it so you're a harder target. Alright, yeah, we can go with Jackie next. Jackie. Takes a lot to disengage. Wow, okay. Well, it's what I'm going to do. It's either that or switch to a close combat weapon and attack him. Uh, I'm going to get my extra action points. It's not enough to shoot the living hell out of you. It can only hit you once. Well, we'll do that. Okay, not as much as I was hoping. Just reload. We can get somebody else up here to help out. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I've got nothing I can do for action points. We'll just end it there. But yeah, I think we send Corey on up to take out Doc. We can take the zipline for free with her because she's got the servo skull to help out. Just light this bastard up. Let's get a nice clear shot. Yeah, you can see the cost increased as we're targeting different people. So he's got something to increase that cost. So it's 12. It might be something for that class that makes it so they're like kind of scary, so you're less likely to want to attack him. We could just shoot him. Um, but the skull should take him out unless we hit armor. Okay, down you go. Alright, if I can kill people, that's probably what I should do. Zax is right down there. What kind of a shot we have from here? 38%. Not the servo skull. I want the regular gun. 63. Okay, now it's 100. Actually. Yeah, he's the only target. Yeah, so we'll just keep reloading the gun. Get a bit more damage in that way. Trench. Now she's reloading often enough that the Marauder here really doesn't get close to jamming. Because she reloads after every shot, basically. And that's about all I can do. So, yeah. Back up a bit, take a knee. How many enemies are even left? One? Is it just the one? If it's just the one, we can start grabbing stuff. I think it's just the one. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Okay. Let's go with Kira first. He might just bail to get out. Like, he might just head to the extraction. I mean, he didn't even go in an ambush stance there. I don't know what he's doing. He's terrified. Running for his life. Uh, I mean, we could head up, go across, try to shoot him from above. Not sure if we can reach him. If there's any corpses around, we might want to start checking bodies, too. That's the other thing we could do. Start looking at looting people. 
And you have to go over there. And there's one body. All right, let's go ahead. Actually, let me check your inventory first. Yeah, we can pick up a couple things. That's fine. Can't actually get up that, can I? All right, let's we'll go up the stairs. Not a huge deal. Let's check your corpse. What you got? Okay, I will take your rivet cannon because I like taking the bionic attachments. I think it's funny. And I'll take your melter grenades too. So I'm just going to kind of head over and then drop an overwatch. Okay, we have to go around. So he's probably just going to head for the exit. So I can't see him from here, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not a great overwatch. The range on this weapon's pretty short. We want to start grabbing stuff. Most of it's kind of in the center. We blew that um, barricade, so we have access to most of the stuff. So those are all inside. The ones we're primarily looking for are the weapon prototypes because they're worth more. Okay, none of those are weapon prototypes. That's not a weapon prototype. Yeah, so maybe the weapon prototypes are all inside the barricade. So yeah, let's just run down and grab. So how about... Yeah, let's just have Big Sue go for it. So we want to go inside. Take just the zip line down to be fine. So if I jump, I don't think we can jump across there, so we'll just do that. Okay, let's go look for some weapon prototypes. It's probably these red ones. Let's see. Yep, okay. There's usually something to make them look different, but if you put your cursor over them, they look exactly the same. Like, it doesn't tell you. So if I just put my cursor over it, it doesn't, like, tell me. It's like, oh, it's an item. Yeah, but what item is it? So I only got the one. Could breach that one, too. Excellent. All right, grab it. Okay. Jackie. Do I have much room? No. If I stole my gun, I have no room to pick up anything. But we could just grab stuff instead. Well, we only got one space, so it's probably better to just go down uh, and just grab stuff. Something over there. Okay, that's outside. Okay, everything's outside the barricade now. So we got all the prototypes, it's just the other stuff that's left.
Okay, near the extraction here. Let's just kind of hang out in the Necromundan rain. Okay, we're going to start creeping in on this guy to maybe kill him. This last person. You're way far away, aren't you? Okay, if I want to go after you. Zipline up and run around, probably. It's my best choice. I do like the clock up there, that's pretty cool. Zaxi boy. Time to die. Let's light him up. Alright. So much for you. Alright, then we'll have a round just to do uh, grabbing of resources and stuff. Everyone who's already set, I don't need to worry about. So Morag and Cory could grab some more stuff. That's really about it. Morag, if we steal your weapon, we can pick up one thing. Are there any other bodies around? Yeah, let's just jump down here, check that guy's body. See if there's anything we want. Snap salts, that's getting rid of... Okay, it's stun. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Pathetic. Pathetic, pathetic. Alright, let's just go grab something down here. Alright, where's the other stuff? Couple there, one way over there. We're probably not going to make it to. Do have 35 movement. Let me just take a look and see if I can get there. Because we can always backtrack. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we can make it to that one. Just not enough action points to pick it up, apparently. Alright. Yeah, I think she's got a bad shoulder or something, which means certain actions do cost a bit more. She's also got a bad knee. So, yeah, it's unfortunate I can't pick something else up. Uh, if there are any other bodies around, I can check if I can reach them. I don't think there's really any around. There's like one back there, but I think I already checked that one. We can pick up a grenade. Uh, I guess so, sure. Okay, Corey, let's see if we can grab those last two. Which are where? Okay, just got it down below. Just move over and drop down. Well, there are bodies up here I wouldn't mind looking at, but uh, let's grab the resources. I've got that blindness. <laughs> Didn't really notice it. Kind of scared me when that thing went off. Eh, it's the price they pay for running around in the underhive. I do have spots in my inventory, if I can reach any bodies. Very few bodies around. So we already kind of looted. It's free to look. I mean, we could grab your pistol. Eh. Okay, 
Jackie, can we actually make it to a body anywhere? Check that one. We check that one. A bunch of the bodies are on kind of the second level. Could zip line up to the second level and look around. I'm go this way. I think I can zip line with this stuff. Yeah. All right. Tons of bodies here. Eh, nothing that great. Next one, melt a grenade. I don't even have any room to pick anything up with you, do I? Crap. Fine, never mind. Never mind. I'm not gonna dump anything to pick something up. Big suit does have some space though. Uh, and we're inside. So yeah, let's do the same thing. Check out bodies. It's a grenade, so we check those two. There's a third one here. There we go. Uh, nothing that great. Blind snake's pretty good, though. Give me that. We've got bodies out there. Uh, nothing I care about. But I will take one of your pistols just because I need to take weapons off of Goliaths. Yeah, we're all full up, so I'll just end the turn and that's it. Alright, got all but one of the crates. Beat the crap out of most of the rest of them. Only one got away without getting downed. If you get downed, you do pick up an injury, which can be uh, not too big of a deal or can be pretty major. It sort of depends on what it is. There are biotic attachments you can get to kind of counteract some of that. But we've been taking a lot of gear away from the enemy as well. So that weakens them in addition, which is always kind of nice. We might have more stuff in the shop. I might take a look and see if there's anything useful, but there probably isn't. I don't really need money anymore. I'm just kind of taking things to take things away from the enemy. So there's nothing I really am going to sell. If I do that, I'll, I'll do that between missions. When I'm not recording, that is. Kind of a freaky looking gilder there. Alright, we got all kinds of stuff. One enemy for Jackie. Two for Big Sue. Nobody for Kira, but she did a lot of support stuff. That's kind of what she does. Three for Morag, very nice. And most valuable fighter often goes to Cory, so we're going to get Cory. Two enemies out. It's just, I think, whoever does the most damage. Uh, yeah, new items in the shop. I'll take a quick look. I didn't use any of my items, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, we'll take a look at our skill stuff. Um, yeah, we literally can't do anything with most of these people. I just have a few people left who aren't maxed in everything they possibly can. We could change some skills around, but I'm pretty happy with it. Although I, I don't use a lot of the skills I have on Jackie, for example. And we're really just upping strength is all I can do. I do actually keep a close combat. Like, we could have swapped out to the Spud Jacker there in that fight and just beaten on that guy. But I'm much better at shooting, so you're kind of better off disengaging and shooting. 
All right, take a look real quick. You have any armor I want? Eh, not really, I don't think. Weapons? No, definitely nothing worthwhile. All right, uh, chips maybe? What's this one? That's pretty useless. Crit resistance, I mean, okay. It's removed when you're kneeling, so that's kind of sucky. Otherwise, mediocre. Eh, I'm fine. All right, yeah, that'll do it for this mission today. We're kind of working our way through the operation. We're more than halfway there. Probably three or four more missions before it finishes up. We might attack somebody else's base as we go. We might take this group out. We might change things up a tiny bit. We'll see how it goes in the next one. All right, this has been more Necromunda Underhive Wars. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.